Uh, let me show you how I have this all set up, how I'm running this ASM Hydrosynth into my Ableton setup via the Duet. Yeah, so I'm just running the left and right channel out of this into the Duet and then using Apogee Control 2 here, um, there's this little button at the bottom that enables you to uh, bring the two channels together into a stereo link. So it's pretty simple. I mean, it took me two seconds to get there, which is great. Um, and then I usually have the ECS channel strip kind of up and just in front of me. So whenever I'm recording something, I can very quickly get and uh, get in there and add some drive or some compression or all those kind of fun things. All right, now I'm gonna get into recording some of these things for y'all and I'm gonna leave the, uh, I'm gonna use the ECS channel strip and leave the EQ and the compression off. Might add a touch of drive right away. Actually, maybe I'll just shut that off right away too. Um, and I'm always kind of like checking before I record because the thing about synths is that because they play so many different roles, uh, there's a lot of different volume levels happening. And so I'm, I, I usually try and live in this like almost danger zone <laughs> up here. Um, I know this particular patch isn't gonna get a lot heavier than that. So I may actually like a touch more. Um, and you know, I do a lot of like post-production, like kind of artistic post-production too. So I like to leave myself a little bit of level to play with, but. I kind of like where that's at, so maybe I'll just uh, go from there and then just play something. See, I actually saved myself there because I forgot that it does get a little bit more punchy, but because I gave myself room, um, I feel like I'm always leaving myself a little bit of room here because there are so many things that can like freak out on a synth or like textural things that happen um, to where um, I just like to have some leeway. So saved me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into the ECS channel strip. Um, a lot of times when I'm recording synths, they're like along with other basses, especially in scoring, there's a lot of like orchestral basses and things that are happening. And so sometimes what I'll do in the channel strip here is actually, um, and I could do this in the synth on a lot of synths too, but it's just easier and sounds great coming through this thing. So I'm actually gonna high pass it a little bit, compress it just to touch, this sound probably won't need a lot of compression, but. Um, You'll notice that even like coming up there, I'm just gonna help the mixing people a lot uh, by just rolling that off. And then let me drive it a little bit. Um, and I'm so tweaky and tactile that I don't have kind of preset settings. I kind of like to just. Like this particular sound is, is pretty like, sounds kind of driven anyway. So maybe I'll just put this like right in the middle and then just compress it just a touch. I'm gonna roll off a little more lows. Okay, so there I'm not gonna compete with these big string basses uh, as intensely. I forgot that I was doing that, so I'm gonna turn this volume down. So the ECS channel strip helps me stay out of the way, saves my mixer some time, makes us all a little happier. I'm gonna try now, I'm gonna play something maybe a little more textural. I mean, it'll still be rhythmic, but um, different EQ range. And I'll start by playing some things without the channel strip on, and then we'll, uh, we'll dive into editing a little bit and seeing what we can do. <clears throat>
if you make mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> you just leave that in there, man. I'm down. I, I don't. Perfection is stupid. Now we'll get into uh, playing around with this. So this patch is very, you know, there's a lot going on harmonically. And so I do like to kind of like flatten it out a little bit, especially if I'm giving it to someone again. Like my goal, I don't mix myself. So my goal is always to save other people time, uh, which um, professional hint gets you more work. So um, yeah, let's dive into compressing this a little bit. I'm gonna get a fully wet mix here. Already like that so much more. Now I might actually, I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. I might actually just roll off like the super, super low and stuff, um, which isn't gonna be like extremely audible right away. But again, the people who are mixing this are going to uh, know that I feel their pain. So let's drive it a little bit and just see what happens. Man, that sounds hella good. Um, so yeah, now I'll record something with those things happening. I'm actually gonna turn it up a little bit too, just to make my neighbor. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think that sounds pretty damn good and it didn't really require much work to get there, which is wonderful. So. <laughs> 